Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining today's Watch and Learn demo. Get the best out of your L&D program with the Go One Content Hub. I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Go One. Go One pulls the world's top online learning providers into one place, delivering all the learning and organization needs in a single solution. I'm Alexandria Klapp, the Content Manager for Learning Technologies and Sciences at ATD, and I will be your moderator today. I know our speakers plan to keep you engaged throughout our session, so as Joy mentioned, please share those questions and comments with your fellow participants in our chat box, and we will have time for Q&A at the end of our event, so we'll save any unanswered and new questions to be addressed then. And with that, I'm very pleased to introduce today's speakers, Jake Via and Christine Greer. We're so excited to learn more about Go One's Content Hub. So without further ado, I will pass it over to you guys to take it away for us today. Thanks, Alex, or Alexandria um, and Joy. Uh, Jake and I are very excited to be here um, and share all things that Go One has to offer. Um, so like uh, Alexandria said, we're going to be talking about how Go One can help you with your content needs. Uh, Go One started as an LMS. Um, and what's an LMS without content? So as we brought on our customers, they were adding their content, most of us bringing on our own, right? When we're going into an LMS, um, we quickly noticed that there was a pattern between all of our clients. Seeing that as they were maturing into uh, maturing into their organization into our LMS, we noticed that each different organization um, within that company was bringing on different providers. So HR had their own provider, um, customer service had their own operations, IT, and it was very messy. And so that was what kind of brought us together into what we are today. Go on making this a one stop shop for all things content. Um, so, Christine, go, going back to this slide, you kind of experienced this uh, coming from where you came from before you were at Go One, right? I did. So, I came from ADP before I came to Go One. And for those of you who know who ADP is, they're a massive organization, right? And I worked in LD as the vendor manager specifically for ADP. And one thing that we realized is as we were servicing our different business units, it was exactly this. So one business unit came to us and needed to upload this content in another business unit. And then one thing that was surprising more than anything was that we were able to see that they were buying all the same type of content from these different yeah. providers. So think about the amount of money that was just going down the drain when you're seeing this, right? Um, because you, everyone's gonna have basic level needs. So that was the one thing that we were like, what are we doing? And and it was great, right, to have an L&D department that's looking at this across the board specifically because they manage your LMS. And so we're right. looking at this and we're like, what just happened? Like, let's let's clean this up. How do we do this? How do we make this a self service for all uh, for all the different business units um, without having to contract out four, five, six different um, providers? Yeah, I think that brings us into our first poll question, which that's right. Um, so go ahead and drop it in. We're curious to know, uh, when I was talking with Christine about this last time, you had eight different content contracts. Yeah, it was. That yeah, you so, know of, that you know that, of. That I know of, right? So we, we ended up partnering with the procurement team because we were like, we knew alone in L and D, right? For the clients that we were servicing within the organization, we're like, okay, what do you guys have? And so we, we cherry pick that and tried to figure it out. And then we go to procurement mm -hmm. and procurement's like, well, we realize that, okay, here's a couple more different mm -hmm. providers across the board. So yeah. eight was the magic. Was that, was that the highest number you've heard? That's Jake. the highest number. Yeah, it's the highest number I've heard. We we end up seeing this a lot though, when customers come on with Go One, and we start to give people, uh, you know, across the company access to this um, to this content library, which we'll kind of talk about here in a minute. And people start coming back from different departments and saying, "Hey, we've got a contract for, uh, you know, software around Azure, but I'm seeing a thousand <laughs> courses on Azure in here. Do we need this other contract?" And the L and D department's like. No, no, you don't. Stop spending don't. money. Yeah. 
We don't. Yeah. Um, so, can you see the the poll results here? I, I think this do. is really fascinating. Yeah. Seventy five percent. That's a lot, but yeah. so common, unknowingly so common. So over over seventy five percent of you have said that you're contracting with two or more content providers, which I think really leads us into this next slide. Um, that, that Christine will talk about a little bit more here. Yeah, so um, in my experience at ADP, it was a we've got we've got to figure this out, right? How do we streamline this? How do we save ourselves some money? And how do we make sure that we aren't think about the amount of stress that this puts just on your L and D team, right? Having to constantly upload different types of content from different providers, and everybody has a different way of doing it. Um, that's what Go One is all about, and which is actually how I came to be here at Go One, right? We we worked together on this, and it was the easiest, most amazing thing I think I've ever experienced. And it was a long process, but we were really excited to find somebody that was able to do this. So think about HR having a you know, a specific need and IT having a specific need, right? And everyone has, there's a different provider that's going to meet those needs, but they're very specific in that niche. They're going to say that, okay, well, here's a really great IT provider and here's a really great, and, and some providers can cross different types of topics, but for the most part, right? They're going to come to you and say, we're really good at compliance or we're really good at Python for whatever reason, right? Um, and, but how do you get all of that without having to go through a contract for every provider that you have, right? So here comes go one. And it's like, um, I think the favorite analogy that I, that I heard Jake <laughs> come up with was uh, the little, the, not the little Caesar, the Caesars um, buffet. Tough. Yeah, there's a buffet. buffet, right? Because yeah. how can how many times it's like my favorite meme is, what do you want? What do you want to eat? Yeah. <laughs> and here it is. You get the option to eat whatever you want and take the type of training that you want from one buffet. So think of us as the training buffet for every need that you could ever have. Um and well, on top of Oh, yeah, that's exactly right. Like, like a lot of times when you're going and you're sourcing content, it's like you're going through a school cafeteria line, right? And you're you're grabbing some mashed potatoes, which is like your compliance needs, right? And then you grab, uh, you know, maybe one dessert, which is like maybe a soft skill or something. But then you're paying for that exact stuff. Where with Go One, it is that like Caesar's Palace buffet pass. Uh, but not only are you getting like the, the lunch menu, you're getting the dinner menu at the same time, right? It's like all you can eat. And uh, so it's over 80,000 learning objects from over 125 different you know, providers. And so from, from the world's top providers on all this stuff, if you were going to, you know, to go out and, and try to contract that individually, it is, it is like a school cafeteria where you don't really want any of the things that you see, but, <laughs> but, but you have to pay for each of them individually, you know? So, yeah. Um, yeah, so, and this is it, right? We have, like Jake mentioned, there's over 125 different providers that make up Go One, um, each one with a specialty of its own and some that cross across that. Um, so Harvard Business Management, we just brought them on really popular provider of ours um, and Blinkist. So these are some really popular names, Skillsoft that are out there today. Um, but uh, think of the pain of having to go through contracting each one of these providers. Um, um, an amount of time and money and resources that it would take to be able to do that instead of coming to go one and just saying, okay, well, I need, I want your library. And the best part of that is there is no extra cost to you when you sign, when we sign on a new provider, right? If we sign on a pro new provider, you just see your library grow. It's not like we're coming to you and saying, that'll be $5, please. Thank you very much because we added Harvard Business Review. That's just not yeah. how Go One functions. And so I think like, you know, taking, okay, so you've got this giant library, that's great. And how does that help us get to a place of, of better success, right? And so there's a couple of ways that we can do that. One is, is you can build out your own library. You can customize your own curation, um, you know, from from this massive library, which we'll dive into a little bit. 
Um, but then we also have recommended and, and pre curated lists. So Christina and I were talking the other day about the Ebbinghaus forgetting curve. Um, if, if you know about Ebbinghaus forgetting curve, chat it in. But it's this idea that we forget like 90% of what we learn within 30 days. And so a lot of times when we've got um, a digital e-learning, you know, we'll take that content and then within, within days to weeks, we've forgotten all of it. With a library this big, we can really start to build out these learning pathways that aren't just to learn it one time and not learn it again, but you could consume multiple micro learnings from multiple providers over the course of multiple months to really ingrain that habit into our daily existence. And so we've got some pathways and playlists built out like that, um, but then you'd also be working with somebody like myself or Christine to really kind of build out and customize your own pathways, which I think is, is a really exciting thing. Um, and, and yeah, and that's what we love to do, right? We want to make sure that you guys are getting the best, the most out of this, uh, the most out of what Go One has to offer. We want you to take the training. You paid for it, take it, and it's at your fingertips. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so just, uh, you know, kind of the last thing about that, like Spotify learning is the best way to think about this, right? And so yep. it's a, you pay your subscription and you get access to, to everything that you could ever want to get access to. Um, so just out of curiosity, we're going to ask another poll question before we dive into the demo. Um, but how long, thinking about the last contract that you did with content, just out of curiosity, how long did it take you to source? And so this question kind of comes out of that idea of like last year around this time, or maybe a month ago, so 13, 14 months ago, we, there's, there was this crazy thing that happened in the world. Um, I don't know if you all heard about it, but, but we all immediately had to go find and source new content for, uh, for COVID for remote work, for home office ergonomics, for managing remote teams. Uh, what were some of the other things that came up, Christine? There were um, hand hygiene, uh, like everything. Like a lot of things, just even things around what is COVID, right? Answering those commonly asked questions, facts around what it is. It was those types of things that out of nowhere, you just had to scramble to try to figure out how to to educate and alert um, and prepare your employees. It yeah. was huge. It was it was crazy. And so going back to the Caesar's Palace buffet method or <laughs> analogy, uh, anybody who was with Go One had immediate access to any of the, the content that our content providers were creating around those topics. So they didn't have to go out and source anything. It was just immediately available. I think within two or three weeks, we had 41 courses just on COVID. Um, and, and a lot on hand hygiene and things like that. So, uh, a huge I think, percentage. Yeah, go ahead, Jake. Sorry. I was just going to say the poll results, a huge percentage of people said that it took more than 60 days um, to, to find and source a new, a new content provider. And that's, that's, that's too long, really. It is, especially when you need something on the go in that moment, right? You can't, we couldn't wait 30 to 60 days to have to find COVID training. That's needed to be readily available. Um, th yeah, that was just really, it, it's too much, I yeah. feel. So with Go One, it's immediate. And let's kind of dive into that and show you what that looks like. You can see my screen. Yeah, Christine, everything's good. We're good. Cool. So go one, like we talked about, we started as an LXP. We started as a learning experience platform. And so you can use and access uh, ours directly, or we plug into a whole slew of third-party LMS integrations, as well as a Microsoft Teams bot. So you can consume go one learning right inside of Microsoft Teams. It's super, super slick. If you're using Teams already, um, it is free to install, so you can play around with it. And we'd love to help you out with that. Um, but I'm going to kind of show you just how easy it is to find and access content and kind of give you an idea of how big our library is. So if you choose to use Go One as your um, LXP, this would be your, your login screen, but yours could look a little bit different. Everything integrates perfectly with Microsoft Azure or other single sign-ons and is totally customizable. So these are some of our other customers that have customized their login screens um, and, and made it their own. So once you're logged in, it's really easy for any of your learning learners to, to jump into any learning that they've already started or to dive into any of their assigned learning um, that you could assign. And then using our search is super simple. So if I search for something like Excel, uh, almost immediately the search results are going to come back here with um, you know, 3,500 Excel courses, which is a super popular topic. I could then filter down by duration. Uh, whether that's you know 
I want to micro learning on Excel or, or something longer. And this kind of goes back to that idea about the Ebbinghaus, right? I bet you forgot about Ebbinghaus already, didn't you? Five minutes ago. This is the point. You can't forget about Ebbinghaus. It's, <laughs> so we could take a really long course like this, and then we could start assigning some of these micro learnings to really enforce that learning over time. And it makes it really, really simple. So if something like Excel has 2,500 results, something like Python is another popular one for those of you in the IT world. Um, There's 1,500 courses on Python. Maybe sexual harassment is something that you need. I think this one's really interesting to talk about as well, because we all know that when we assign the same sexual harassment course year after year after year, it starts to become really ineffective, right? Mm -hmm. It starts to become that thing that um, I don't want to say people joke about, but people joke about, right? So the nice thing about the Go One library is you have over 300 different sexual harassment courses. You could assign a different course every year for the next yeah. 300 years and keep it fresh, keep it interesting. Uh, on top of that, we have courses that meet every single state requirement um, and anything that you could possibly need for that. And again, all of these courses are immediately exportable to whatever LMS system you're using. So uh, you can use the Go One system to find the content um, and then you could you could export these courses by themselves, or you could use what we call our Go One Content Hub. And our Content Hub makes it easy for you to grab all of the courses and export them all at once, or to come in here and, and use those same kind of searches and filters to find exactly what you want. So maybe I just want courses about Excel 365. Maybe I just want some long courses for Excel 365. And I can just export these courses. Hitting this button here would give me those SCORM files or those XAPI files. Uh, whatever your LMS needs um, to just pull them over. As well as on top of that, we have integrations built out with several large LMSs already, and we're continuing to build out more and more integrations. I think as, as a lot of you know, when you launch an LMS, um, there's almost never content in it, right? So we're your one-stop content solution for that just-in-time training or to build out those pathways uh, or to supplement your internal um, course content creation Whatever you need, we're here for you with this. Okay, can you type in OSHA? Um, we had that in the question in the chat. And uh, one thing that <laughs> Jake said to me the other day that I will now never forget, but if you look on the left-hand side of the screen, you're gonna see that our library here says 76,000. And you're not, that's not an exaggeration, right? 76,000 pieces of content. And that can be intimidating. You can come in here and look at this and be like, how do I find what I need? And sure, that it's a lot, but Jake, I'm gonna let you go ahead and use your analogy that you said um, for morning cartoons, because I just feel right. like it'll resonate. <laughs> so, I, well, I think it's a really great question, right? Like when we're helping people curate content, a lot of people come and be like, Jake, um, this this is what kind of content we 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 need, and I'll say, okay, do you want animated content? Do you want a talking head? Um, do you want a slide deck presentation? Do you want something super interactive? And personally, if you don't give me any feedback, I'm just going to give you animated ones because, like, I might be in my mid 30s, but I still just want a bowl of frosted flakes and and to watch some some ducktails, you know. So like, um, <laughs> so but we have everything available there, and then. What was the analogy? It was something about Scrooge McDuck. Scrooge saying, McDuck swimming in coins. That's exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so Scrooge, like, <laughs> this is a silly analogy. <laughs> Stick with us here, okay? Who remembers DuckTales? If you liked Huey, Dewey, or Louie, let me know in the chat which one was your favorite. But, you know, Scrooge dives into that big uh, safe full of gold coins, and he might be just looking for a specific gold coin, right? We're your specific gold coin finder. We're the ones that are going to help navigate um, you know, swimming. <laughs> this is the silliest analogy I think I've ever come up with. But, but it's but, so, good. so good. Yeah. So we're going to help you find that one gold coin will be your uh, your gold coin searcher. So um, for the OSHA, you know, we've got over 400 OSHA uh, courses about OSHA. But not only that, we also have the Canadian version, which uh, is is OSA instead of OSHA. So um, just about everything that you you need is available in here. Um, and then on top of that, if we just leave this blank and we search by uh, by everything, we also have these playlists that we kind of talked about. And this is an ever growing list of, of playlists. So these playlists are being built and written by um, our friends here at Go One and really creating a way for you to quickly and, and, and instantly see some recommended content because the library is so big. 
we talk a lot about analysis paralysis because it's it's like sitting down. Um, I sit down every night with a glass of red wine and my Netflix remote, right? And like three bottles of red wine later, I still haven't found something to watch, right? <laughs> That's analysis. Every time, food gets really cold by the time you're trying to figure out what you want to watch because, right. yeah. So this is this is that like recommended for you section, right? This is what's going to help you yep. find it. Um, pick it out and, and dive in. So, so that's that. Um, a couple of the other things that that we would, you know, want to search for would be. Um, oh man, well, it's just any topic. You know, with over seventy six thousand pieces of content, uh, really anything that you could need is available in here. Um, and um, can you? I have, we had two different topics they asked for: um, storyboarding and banking. Yeah, so banking um, is one of those things that is so specific uh, about a lot of different things. What's a banking topic? Um, we have a number of providers, like I said, that, uh, you know, with over 125 different providers, there's there's always something new. So Wall Street Prep covers a lot of financial stuff. Um, they're fantastic in that space. Um, Bankers Academy has some Bankers. incredible Bankers courses. Academy. So, yeah, so Reg, uh, Reg D and Reg CC. Um, so if I just search for Reg D here, we'll see that there's a number of courses here. I mean, get freaked out. And, and I will say that that is one thing that's starting to come that we have been we've been told to identify in looking into more training around banking, specifically around like finance. Um, continue education credits and stuff too. That's something that's been put onto our radar to add. Yep. The Bankers Academy courses are, are fantastic and they're really popular and, and useful by um, a bunch of our bank customers um, and everything is just here and ready for you. So again, this library is constantly growing. Um, when I started, this was around 60,000 and it just keeps growing almost every month as we onboard new, new content providers. Um, so, if we don't have it yet, chances are we're going to have it soon. Um, and, and tons and tons of courses about every every single topic. Seventy six thousand is is too much for me to demo for you, but uh, <laughs> I've never. I had a customer a couple of weeks ago that is in the metals. They 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 manufacture metals, and they were like, Jake, you probably don't have any courses about um, metal. Uh, and I was like, I don't know. Let's see. And so we searched for metal. And not only did we have courses about about uh, arc welding and all of these very specific things, we also had courses about creating music and, and, and metal and music. Um, but they they were kind of blown away that we had almost uh, 500 results just about something very niche to them. So if you can imagine it, chances are we have it. And if we don't have it, we can find it um, or, or source it. Um, and And it just continues to grow. So it's really that that all you can eat buffet pass, right? You want some crab legs or you want some tapioca pudding? We got it for you, whatever, whatever you're looking for. So Mom, the meatloaf. Yeah, yeah. And it's all really easy. You can if I click on this, it's just going to play the course here inside of this. Or like I said, I could export it or I could play it inside of my LMS, inside of Microsoft Teams, uh, inside of a lot of different places. So I'm going to stop sharing. We're going to go to Q&A because we only got a couple of minutes here. Um, but with that, awesome. we got one more yeah, poll question. Right we, oh. Yeah, just one more poll question before we, we launch into the Q&A too. So this was a really high level view of, of a really, really big library. Hopefully we started to give you some ideas about how that all you can eat buffet pass to, to learning content can really start to help with things like the Ebbinghaus Forgetting Curve or helping you uh, supplement your, your self-built plans or just plug and playing our pathways and our playlists. Uh, we work with a lot of customers who don't build any of their own content. They just use our content. Right. Um, so tell us what you'd like to, to learn more about, and then we'll dive in some Q&A. Okay. Right. So uh, we'll follow up post call. Um, you know, we, we have your contact in your contact info. Um, and so whatever you wanted to follow up with, we'll, we'll do, but let's jump into some Q&A now. All right, so um, someone asked, is there a section um, on your site or in the platform where folks can see a list of the providers and summaries of the content that they provide? Um, I think someone else uh, also was asking about the vetting process. 
Yeah, that's a great question. So you can go to goone.com where we have a list of all of our providers uh, based on region um, that you can filter by region. And, so and topic, get, right? And topic, yep. And you yeah. can get a snapshot of the provider. Um, vetting content is um, pretty robust. We, you know, content needs to play, it needs to be agnostic. It needs to be able to play in everything. And so uh, we don't onboard any providers who, who whose content might not work in different LMSs. Um, we wanna make sure that everything works everywhere. Uh, and so we really vet content to make sure that it's um, high quality, that it plays well. Um, but then we also have a lot of different kind of content. So we have video content that won't have any interactive questions if you wanna integrate that into your own thing or just use it as micro learning. And then we have content that you know has constant check for understandings and full exam type of quizzes. Um, we even have content that that spins up virtual servers so that if you're learning how to code, you can actually code on a virtual server and experience it real time. So there's there's just about everything in there and it's all vetted pretty heavily. Awesome. And someone had asked if you are able to create a badging or credentialing program within GoOne as your employees are successfully completing courses or playlists. Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, so employees can get a learner certificate or a certificate of completion at the end of every course. Um, that is, um, it, it, it will have your company logo on it or the, um, and the logo of the, the content provider. Um, and then some of the courses themselves, if they apply for continuing education credits or, or somebody needs it for their SHRM stuff, um, there's always a certificate inside the course. Not always, but most of the, those kind of providers will have a certificate inside of the course that you can also download. Uh, so there's a couple of different ways to do that. And then we're looking at building out some badging um, options for LinkedIn and things like that. Um, but if your LMS already has those built in, then um, you can use those as well. Cool. And someone had asked about pulling reports for course completion or usage. I'm assuming you guys have some type of ability yeah. to do that. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I oh, failed to show that. Let me show that real quick. Way to so, go. I know, I even had the tab pulled up. Please um, so, show the pivot, it's my favorite. Yeah, so on the enrollments page of our administer section, um, you can you know build your, your, your reports however you like, and then you can click config. We have all these different options for displays, including a pivot table. So if I click apply here on the pivot table, um, this is all dynamic, it's all instantly up to date. Uh, you can build out your pivot tables however you like, and it'll filter out based on, on whatever you want. You can drag and drop these around, then you can export it to CSV um, and play with it in Excel. You can save it so that any reports that you build are immediately available here for you to, to pull up anytime you click in here. Um, and so the report functionalities are, are super robust in our platform. And they'll track completions inside of your LMS as well. So you can use, if you have an existing LMS, you can use your LMS's reporting or you can use our reporting to, to track content. Well, cool. and I see this last question. Are you able to customize any of the preloaded content in any way? I'm thinking like, are you able to add like discussion questions or projects assigned like in to the course? Yeah, that's a great question. So the, the actual SCORM file itself of that course that we get from the provider is not customizable, but we do have a content creator inside of the GoIn platform that you can take that course and you can marry it with your own quiz or your own questions or your own PDF. So what we see a lot of people do is they'll um, you know, make their own slide uh, and they'll upload that and then they'll attach the SCORM file from one of our providers and then they'll add their own quiz to the end of it. So it, it creates a custom course, uh, but inside that custom course is an uneditable uh, course from the provider. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. So the course yeah, itself is cool. provider, not editable fit. Awesome. Well, I see we are right at 2.30 and I, I think I captured almost all the, all the questions in there, but where can folks reach out to you if they have more questions? Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll wanna follow up with everybody here. Otherwise you can find us on LinkedIn, uh, Jake Via. On, on LinkedIn or Kristen Greer on LinkedIn or uh, follow follow up with us at go1.com or jake.via at go1.com or christine.greer at go1.com or sales at go1.com uh, and we'd love to help you out. Great. Well, thank you guys so much for your time today and all of our attendees for your great engagement and questions. 
and you will receive an email tomorrow with a link to our recording. I hope you have a great afternoon. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody.